Hi everyone, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I'm going to be talking about some more items that I want to pan next year. So I'm thinking that these are items that I'm going to include in my rolling project pan, which is usually just full of makeup items and that's something that I've mentioned before I think in my project panner tag video is that when it comes to project pans I only think of makeup items to include I never really think about skincare or hair care or body care items but I do want to do that a lot more often next year I do want to start including you know some skincare items some hair care items in project pans instead of solely just sticking to makeup so I did recently upload a video about all the makeup that I want to pan next year. So this video is about non-makeup items, but still obviously beauty related. So I have nine items here in front of me. I have seven hair care items, and then I've got one body item and then one skincare item. So let's start off with the skincare one, and it is a mask, and it's the number seven Instant Results Nourishing Hydration Mask. And I'm not really a face mask type of person anymore. Years ago, I used to be really on it with doing a mask once or twice a week. And I've just kind of fell out of favour of doing that. I tend to kind of focus more on my serums, oils and moisturisers to get things like hydration. Or if I'm looking to sort of tackle breakouts, then again, I'll look at, you know, serums or I'll look at like acid toners as well. So masks aren't really... An item that I tend to use that often at all and I currently have three face masks two of them are in my items I want to use up by the end of the year also just to mention about that if I don't finish off any of those products in the items I want to finish up by the end of the year I will be including those in project pans next year so they can kind of be lumped in with this video but I have mentioned them before whereas these ones these are new basically I've not mentioned them before. So yeah, I have three face masks and for somebody who doesn't really use face masks that often at all, I don't need three. So I want to get them all used up. They're probably all out of date as well. So I need to get them used up. And this is another one. So I'm hoping I can kind of alternate between the three face masks. So this is great for hydration, which at this time of the year in the UK, when the weather is really cold, it, your face can feel quite dry it can feel really parched of any moisture so a mask like this would be really nice and then I've also got an overnight mask that I can use and I've then got more of like a, a repairing mask so I feel like I have enough masks to kind of tackle any issues that I need so hopefully that means I can ro rotate through them fairly regularly but yeah this one from number seven here is pretty full it is a really pretty mo pretty face mask actually because it's like a spiral it's like a twist pattern so it's really quite a nice mask to look at in its packaging but i need to get this used up so if i can try to remember to sort of use this like once a week then that would definitely help but my focus at the moment is on the two masks that are in my items i want to use up by the end of the year but yes, next year I will definitely be including this either in my project pan or in a separate type of project pan style challenge. Next item I've kind of lumped under body care, but it is a fake tan and it's the Tanologist Express Tan Self Tan Mousse Medium. And I bought this in the summer when I tend to kind of get a little bit frustrated as to how pale I am. And I think, oh, I'd look nice with a little bit of like a sun-kissed bronzedness to my body. And I bought a self tan, I bought a tanning mousse and I do what I usually do when I buy a self tan. I use it once and then I put it back on the shelf, never to touch it again for months. And I don't think I have touched this since summer. I just, I can't be bothered with fake tan. I'm far too lazy for it. I can't be bothered with the whole routine, the prepping your body, the, you know, you've got to be careful what you wear, where you walk, where you sleep. It's about staining your bed clothes and everything. And I just, I'm too lazy for it, but I like how it looks. And this is 12 months, this has a 12 month expiry. So I probably have about, you know, sort of six months left of this. But as you can see, this 200 ml bottle is very full. I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I only had one application of this self tan. It is very nice. I think I used it for, how long did it say? Yeah, I used it for four hours because it says shower one to four hours after application. And it was nice, but I felt like I could have been more bronzed. So I think in the future, I would apply this of an evening, sleep in it, and then wash it off in the morning or apply it in the morning, leave it on all day. But very easy to do. I don't remember there being any sort of like streak marks or patchiness or anything. And I think it faded quite nicely. So a pretty good one, but one that 
if I don't focus on it, I know this is just going to sit in my cupboard for a long, long time because I did do that with a St. Moritz one a couple of years ago. So yeah, another one to include in a project pan. Okay, the rest of all hair care products. I have seven hair care products here and these, pretty much all of them bar one, I'm pretty sure are all out of date. And like I said with self-tan, I'm very lazy with self-tan. I'm also very lazy with hair. I don't do a lot to my hair. I've recently started getting into hair oiling, so I'm starting to do a little bit more. And then because I'm filming these videos quite regularly now, I either sort of straighten my hair or I might curl it. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm very lazy with hair. And somebody who's very lazy with hair doesn't need this many hair care products. And this isn't even all of them as well. These are just the ones that I don't use that often, so they need to be used up. But let's start off with the most recent one to my collection. And I bought this last year sometime. And this is the Bedhead TG Superstar Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. So you spray this on your hair when it's damp, when you're ready to blow dry it. And then I tip my head upside down, blow dry it. And it's meant to give your hair some volume, but it doesn't for me. As you can see again, you know, my hair is very flat. It's very, there's no kind of like life or volume to it. So this doesn't really work on me. And that's really the reason why I just want to use this up next year. I don't think this would be that difficult for me to use though because I do use this fairly regularly when it comes to blow drying my hair. So it is getting used on a fairly regular basis but I just want to amp it up a little bit more next year and get this one used up because it is also a 311ml spray bottle so there is still quite a bit left in here. Another product that I bought to help with volume was the Philip Kingsley Maximizer. And it says this maximizes volume, body and bounce. And it's for fine, limp and flyaway hair types. And I think there's about half of this bottle left. And I haven't used this in a while, but I don't recall it doing much in terms of, you know, volume and lift. I'm not sure whether it's just my hair, whether I've just got, you know, that typical type one hair that is just so dead straight and fine that, you know, no amount of product or styling is going to put volume in it, much to my annoyance. But this is also another product that just sits on my dressing table not getting used. So I need to get this one used up. This is a good couple of years old. So yeah, this is out of date because this has a 12 month shelf life. And I'm also getting more into sort of looking after my hair. So like I said, I'm starting to do like hair oiling and I'm starting to kind of pay a bit more attention to the types of products that I'm buying as well. So because I have lots of products here that I want to use up, I want to get them out of my collection before I start spending money on products that are better suited to my porosity, my type of hair as well. Whereas with these, I've just gone, oh, I want volume and I've just bought a volume product. And I feel like there's a bit of overlap as well between some of these products as well. So I feel like the Bedhead one kind of does a similar thing to the Maximizer. So I don't need multiple products that claim to do very similar things. Okay, next one, another sort of spray. This is also for fine flat hair and it's a root lift spray. So again, quite similar to the Philip Kingsley Maximizer. And this is the Dove Oxygen Moisture Root Lift Spray. Again, I think, oh, I can kind of see it. I have about two thirds of this left. So hopefully this won't take me long. But my problem is because there are seven items here that I want to use up that are all hair care items, I don't want to be applying loads of them. I think I only have to sort of choose one at a time because I do have the type of hair that is going to get weighed down with loads of products and it is going to look greasy and I'm not going to get the desired effect. So yeah, judging by how much is left in this bottle, it shouldn't take me too long. But if I'm working on multiple products, then it will probably take me, you know, best part of the year. But again, this is another product that I feel like it doesn't really do anything. I don't recall getting a lot of root lift with this spray. So another one that I need to get used up because again, it is just going to sit on my dressing table collecting dust and 12 month shelf life. That one is also definitely out of date. A couple more products from Bedhead or from TG. And this is the S Factor Smoothing Lusterizer. Now I use this one kind of often. This is the one that I use when I have curled my hair. So quite often when I curl my hair because I'm not very good at it, it tends to look a little bit kind of frizzy. So I run a bit of this through the lens and it kind of helps to smooth everything and give everything a little bit more definition. It helps it look a little bit more touchable, a bit more soft and silky. So this is a really good product actually. And this is potentially one that I would consider repurchasing in the future. However, this product is five years old, possibly. And again, it's out of date because it has a 12 month shelf life. I can't see how much is left, but I'm guessing there's about half of it because this is one that 
you know, it doesn't get used a huge amount because I don't curl my hair that regularly, but it is one that gets used every now and again. And also it's a product I know what to do with, whereas the next one, which is another bedhead product, TG product rather, is the Small Talk 3-in-1 Thickifier Energizer and Styler. I do not know what to do with this product. I have Googled it and I'm still stumped. I don't know whether to use it on dry hair, wet hair, damp hair. Do I blow dry with it? Do I then need to go in with a blow drying hair protector afterwards? Do I use this after I style my hair? I really do not know. It says it's a thicker fire to add vo body and volume and energizer to give life to limp hair. Yep, limp hair. Stylizer defines, separates and controls. So is it basically a product that you can use for any purpose? I'm not really sure. And I'm not sure as well how much I have left. I think I have a lot left because it's not one that I use that often because I don't know how to use it. Yeah, there's loads left in there, probably about two thirds. But because I don't have loads of length to my hair, products like the Thickifier and the Smoothing Lusterizer, I can only use a very small amount because it is designed for your ends. Now I do want to grow my hair long again. So but obviously once it gets longer, I can use more and more of these products, but obviously still only a small amount. But yeah, if anybody has used this product and you know how to use it, can you let me know? But this one is gonna take a long time. I think if I was focusing on this one for the entire year, I would still probably have some product left in it by the end of the year. So it's a balancing act between all of these products here that I need to use up. Next one that I got a couple of years ago in the MS Beauty Advent Calendar is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. And this is 100 mils. And with this, it says to work a small amount of product in hands, apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. Do not rinse, style. So I like that this one tells you what to do with it, whereas this one does not. So again, because of the length of my hair, I'm limited as to how much of this product I can use. Now, I think this one was quite nice for memory. I think it did help to kind of make my hair be quite kind of soft and hydrated. So a fairly good product from memory. And I'm guessing there's about half of this left in the tube because when I first got this in the advent calendar, I was using it fairly regularly, but this past year I haven't used it often at all. So again, another one that's just been sat on my dressing table, collecting dust, not getting used. And this has a 24 month shelf life. So I think, yeah, I think this month it comes out of date. So another one that needs to get used and needs to be included in a project plan next year. And then the last hair care item that I want to use up next year is actually one that I use really often. And it's the Garnier Ultimate Blends Marvelous Glow Oil. And when I've washed my hair, before I brush it with my wet brush, I will take a pump of this, rub it in my hands, and then take it through the length of my hair. And it just makes brushing my hair when it's wet a lot easier. And yes, I do use a wet brush, by the way, so I do use the right brush for wet hair. So this is one that I use really, really regularly. But again, because of the lengths, I can't use a lot more. And then because of the nature of the product, it's an oil. It's one that you're not gonna get through very quickly at all. However, I have been hair oiling for the past couple of weeks. And that this product here is the product that I have been using to oil my hair. So I apply a lot more <laughs> than one pump. I'm not sure how many, four, five, six perhaps and then I apply it through the, the roots, right through to the ends, I massage it in, and I leave it for about an hour, and then I wash it off with a clarifying shampoo. And the first time I did it, my hair just soaked up the oil. <laughs> I didn't realize that my hair actually really needed it, and to be honest, my hair has always been in actually a really good condition. It's not really, you know, parched, it's not frazzled, it's not hugely damaged. This is natural. This is bleach, so I am growing out my bleached highlights. So the hair that remains my, my natural sort of virgin hair is in a really good condition and I can tell that as well when I brush it. So it was interesting that when I used this as a hair oil, my hair just soaked it up. And then the difference in my hair once I've washed it off is really quite amazing actually. My hair feels so much smoother. I mean, it's smooth anyway, but it's so much smoother. It's really hydrating, it's super soft. So if I continue to use this as a hair oil in that way. I'm hoping I can get through this fairly quickly. Maybe another sort of half a dozen uses perhaps with this oil. So this is actually one product here on the table that I am not concerned about finishing up. I think that I can manage this no problem. 
So those are the nine products that I want to use up next year. So one skincare, one body care, and then unfortunately seven hair care products. So I think I need to take some time to figure out which hair care products kind of take precedence, which one I can sort of start focusing on first. Are there a couple that I can be using? So I think the oil to do my hair oiling I can use as well as say, I don't know, the, the superstar one to use when I blow dry my hair. I need to kind of take some time to think, you know, which ones can I realistically get through quickly. And also if you have used any of these products and you've got some sort of styling tips or usage tips, please let me know in the comments down below, particularly if it is this three in one small talk by Bedhead, because this one just, it stumps me. So thanks so much for watching the video guys. Hope you are enjoying Vlogmas. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and I'll see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye guys.